Thank help you. me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> New Macon Mid-Mayor Lester Miller officially sworn into office today at the Macon City Auditorium. Ashlyn Webb joins us live downtown to tell us what the new mayor had to say as he prepares to take office. Yes, Frank, we have a new mayor in town for the first time in 13 years. In his first speech as mayor, Lester Miller promised change for the town he grew up in and one that has shaped him. Through my service, it is my goal to give back to the community that has given me so much. One of the top priorities for the new mayor and commission, tackling crime and getting a grip of the county's ongoing public safety crisis. For the first time on record, Macon is ending the year, averaging a murder a week. Miller says he's working with the sheriff, district attorney, and the public defender's office. And then after we come together with our plan, we're going to go to the judges. Uh, I think we have to pull together as a unit to make public safety a priority. Another big topic, diversity and inclusion. Miller says he and his administration will be leading with the golden rule. By every one of us together, treating others as we want to be treated. We will create a community, one where all people can thrive. Miller says he also wants to get a handle on poverty in the county, something he says he knows personally from his childhood. Poverty continues to grip our community. Too many people are hungry, too many people are homeless, and too many people do not have the luxury of thinking about a future. They are simply doing all they can to pay rent put food on the table, and keep the lights on. Miller says after two homeless men froze to death, he's taking action immediately to address the city's problem with homelessness. Miller says he'll roll out an executive order on the topic and COVID-19 as soon as this Friday. We can't sit back and wait two or three weeks or have an official meeting that we can vote on. Miller says he's also working with Governor Kemp's office to put in extra measures to fight the pandemic in the county. Because I want to be able to uh, serve making the best I can, and sometimes it may not be the same way that things happen in Atlanta. And Miller is making it clear that they are hitting the ground running. He credits his transition team for giving his administration a head start. Reporting live in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Ashlyn. Mayor Miller's official term begins at 12 a.m. January 1st. You can watch his full inauguration speech on our website, 13WMAZ.com.